Did you know that bacteria can produce plastics? This is the research topic that we are going to discuss in this video. My name is Mariana Cambi. I am a biomedical scientist at the University of São Paulo. My master research is focused on the production of renewable and biodegradable bioplastics using orange peel as a substrate. This is a biotechnological project because it aims to use microorganisms as machines to process the orange peel and obtain bioplastics. How? We all know that plastics are found everywhere. Imagine life without them. The process of production of petrochemical plastics is linear. We pump oil to the surface, process and make products from it. After we use the products, we discard them. If we dispose it properly, the material can be recycled, but in practice many of it ends up in landfills, in the sea, on the land, or at best it is incinerated. Wouldn't it be better if we could replace these conventional petrochemical plastics with renewable and biodegradable bioplastics that can be inserted into the natural cycles? This is a key object that matches with the sustainable development goals, especially 9, 12, 13, 14 and 15. And this is what we are investigating at the University of São Paulo. But how can bacteria produce plastics? It all starts in a petri dish. There, bacteria have everything they need to survive. When bacteria are in an environment with plenty of nutrients, oxygen and the right temperature, they grow and they grow fast. But when the phosphorus and the nitrogen run out, the bacteria become stressed. To prepare themselves to survive in the scarcity, the best adapted bacteria produce polymers inside. Polymers of polyhydroxyalkanoates, which serve as internal reserves. These are our bioplastics of interest. The objective of my research is to evaluate the production of polyhydroxyalkanoates using orange peel byproduct as a substrate. In a first screening step, I have tested bacteria from several collections regarding their ability to grow and accumulate PHAs in a medium containing orange peel, pectin or galacturonic acid. As a result, among 52 bacteria tested, 40 were positive for both growth and polymer accumulation. In quantitative assays, E. coli were capable to accumulate as much as 30% of its cell's dry mass in the form of PHB. I'd like to thank Brazilian National Council for Scientific and Technological Development for the founding, the University of São Paulo, my supervisor, and other colleagues in the lab. Thank you for watching!